Everybody, this is Ross from All Type of Games. It's a simple unboxing of the Evermedia Login Portable. Now, I received the device uh, a couple of days ago. I opened it up to, to mess around with it, to review it. Had some troubles um, setting it up. I'm explaining to you in the video what was going on. And it might help you troubleshoot it, but it's, it's pretty much an overview of, of the video. Now, <clears throat> that's what's in the box. That's a simple package. It's, it's really heavy, surprisingly heavy. If I can get this out, all right. With the device itself, we have P PC mode, PC free mode, the micro USB, audio out, and a gym out, a gym in, a V in for like the PS3 or your, or your component cables in through that. And right here we have the SD slot. Now with the SD slot, I had a problem because I had I had multiple ones. That's a 32 gigabyte one. I had to make sure it's a SD um, level 10 or higher. Because, you, know, you know, you can find SD cards really cheap on the internet, and some of them are really low, like like really low grades, like a lot of fours and fives. But you need a level 10 because a level 10 is the speed amount to record. So. Like I say, I tested it out already. I'm just doing the unboxing to show you. The tray kit. Um, right here we have Evermedia X Blitz. So we have three months to switch here. I might actually get this away on the channel. But I might, I'm not sure that I do a giveaway. So one look, so one look at comments. So make sure you subscribe and like the video. If you, if you did that, you might actually be getting X-Split for three months free. It'd be, it'd be random. I'm going to go into the comment and say, hey, this is what I'm going to give it to. So, this. And the box is really heavy. got this big box. And the inside. You have the login portable. They show you how to hook it up. You have the different, more, different ways you can hook it up. And have like a little flyer. Tell you go to the website, gamerzone.bd.com. All right, and let's look at the packaging. Like I said I open it up. I open all the, most of the packages up, but I really didn't use everything because I have all the component wires and if that would need already for my other one. But this be my main my main workhorse with me um recording. So some of the wires are open. All right, we have the pouch, which is a nice self pouch that you want to travel, which I do travel a lot. I can bring, I can bring this to my friend's house, so I can bring it with me on the road, wherever I'm at, and able to record. We have this is the PS3 wire for the AVN, so you want to record PS3 footage because PS3 footage don't have the um, ACTP, I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the code on it, don't know if you um, recall HDMI, they use this. This right here is one of the wires, I don't know why I, know why I open it up, but it's a um, minute, minute micro USB, mini USB. I have a whole bunch of them. Yeah, they give you a, a really short HDMI card. I thought it was a, a, a special, a specific one, but not, nothing really special about it. But it's really short, so I put it back in the box. I didn't need it. This right here, you want to do component. I'm not sure open up to show you. This right here is the AVN. You can see that. And this is the different, got the different cover, cover represent the white, the audio. So what you would do is you can separate tell which what. And they'll be next to each other. Oh, you, you get you get the picture, AVN, and this right here is just a three millimeter jack. This then, like you got a mixer or something you want to record outwards to the mixer, which I still don't got to record and record right. So the problem I was having when I had my AV media hooked up, it was that the call was a format of a Mac, and I had to solve it for the Mac. So I had to re-download the software again, and it's it's pretty, fairly, fairly new software. And I had a problem with it reading the device. So I had to unhook, I had to unplug, 
Well, actually, it was saying that me is copyright protected. So I read around the internet, had to unplug my system altogether to replug it back up. Then when I replug it back up, it allowed me to um, to record the show catch it because the Xbox all were like, I watch TV through my Xbox, I watch Hulu through my Xbox, and other stuff. So all that stuff was running in the background. The system was running in the background. If immediately picked it up and said, hey, you can't record copyrighted content, which I wasn't trying to record recording that. I was trying to record recall the dashboard to show you some gameplay and some demos on the different settings. Because the glass